Oh, well, I'm very proud to be in the magic, and um, thank you for supporting it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun tonight to see all of the cast members. Um, Eric Roberts, who plays my son in the movie I've done six movies with, I don't think he came tonight, but uh, he's a brilliant actor. And my friend Christos, who's the, the lead in the film. There he is. This is Christos. Christos is the lead in the film. You're, you're wonderful, honey, in the role. Just wonderful acting, wonderful. That means so much, Sally, from someone who I feel so, so, so appreciative to even work with in the first place. But you are so wonderful as an actress yourself. Oh, thank you. I'm really proud of what you're doing up there. Thank I you. made a quick run to the bathroom, but I'm going back for more. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Same. Congratulations. Thank you. You must talk to him. He is the lead. He is the main man. I appreciate that. You're the main man. You're the main star, oh, Sally. I'm, I'm just the older generation, that's all. The elder. You're so humble and so kind. I oh, love you. Thank you, Christos. Thank you. Hi, everybody. This is Brenda Mejia. I am an actress. I'm a TV host. And I also have a, a radio show on Dash and iHeartRadio, empowering women, female industry, entertainment, and CEOs in business. And you just came out from the movie theater. What is your impression of uh, this movie? Well, we're here supporting Gabi Espina, which is the, one of the lead actresses, and Christoph as well. I mean, it's an amazing movie, and, I've, and I'm going to tell you why. It's a holiday movie. But one of the things at the beginning, it was, it, it really makes you think about life and family, which I think right now with social media and everything happening in, the, in our world that is so fast, um, I think it, it really helps with understanding how present you need to be with your family and how grateful if we do have a moment with our family and just in general with your friends you know after quarantine I feel like everybody got really connected and disconnected uh, disconnected in the sense of like physically you couldn't be with your friends but we got so much connected with the positive thing of social media you you really got to you know understand <laughs> zoom um, understand all these other sides of the positive things of the of social media so I feel in that side it was great. And I feel like this movie really it takes you a little bit of, it's, it's the name of the movie is The Magic, right? I feel it's like the magic of love and your family and understanding how grateful you are. A lot of the times people go through like a little bit of sadness and depression during the holidays. And we have to remember that we should be grateful for everything we have and you know who we get to be in life. A big sister, mom, uh, sister, cousin, best friend, whoever you are in this world to, to your friends and peers and your family, just be that. Be present. Hi, my name is Dania. Hi, I'm Johnny Williams. What do you think about the movie? You just came out from the screening room. Yeah, I thought the movie was great. It was a very in the spirit of Christmas. It was very magical. Um, and I really love the concept. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think uh, this is that type of movie that has that warmth that you look for in like a Christmas type of movie. Uh, you know, it has that, that feeling that you want to leave with, like, oh, you know, it just has that, you can have some hot chocolate after, you know. Is it different than the romantic dramas that we get used to it, you know, generally what? I think it was different, but I think that's what makes it unique. I really love that, you know, it had that different feel. Yeah, could you repeat the question, I'm sorry? Oh, it's just, was it different for you than uh, generally the romantic dramas what you usually see in movie theaters? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I think uh, when you mix, you mix in ghosts, you mix in uh, magic, you mix in uh, heartbreak and loss and things like that. But you're able to still make it into such a positive, loving story. You know, it's is uh, definitely a great experience. Do you guys believe in angels? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> absolutely. And last question: What do you think about uh, acting in the movie? I thought the acting was great, and we have an actor here himself, so what do you think? <laughs> Definitely some sharp acting in it, for sure. Uh, special shout-outs to uh, Ofense Malate. Uh, he killed it in, the, in his role. Uh, very, very proud of him. And you could also see the connection between the actors. It was very, very well yeah. casted. Yeah, lots of good chemistry in it. Yeah. Hi, I'm John Kim. I just finished the movie, and I was stunned. Christos was amazing. I mean, I've seen a lot of his stuff, and he just hit another huge level and the chemistry and the story was so unique it was fantastic it sounds like you are friend with christos so you came to uh, support him absolutely. absolutely he's he's a star how do you know each other 
Uh, I sell his movies. <laughs> So why would you suggest to watch this movie in the holiday season? It's magical. No, it's touching. I was I was impressed. It's great. It's great. My daughter loved it. What, what is the difference uh, between uh, the and uh, generally about the dramatic? Yes. They're not typical of the normal Hallmark type movies. So it was uh, very refreshing. It's great. It's great. Thank you so much. What do you think about the movie? I like it. What was your favorite scene? I like the sisters. What about Christos? He's very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so what will you do for Christmas? You already have some Christmas wishes? Yes. Can you share with us one? Pajamas. Okay. Air muff. Nail polish. And I want some BTS stuff. My name is Julia Dietze. Yes, yes, I'm an actress too, yes. <laughs> what do you think about the movie? You just came out from the, the screening room. I think the movie is very cute. Um, I personally also believe in Guardian Angels. And I think it has a very, very cute, very different angle or perspective on Christmas. What was your favorite scene? Mm. My favorite scene was my favorite scene was when he gets the angels from the troll and he's still in this 3D greediness although he just got the gift, biggest gift and I think that's what happens to a lot of us humans like we have the biggest gift right in front of us and we keep complaining and complaining, and then one point, at one point we just realized, oh my gosh, it was there the entire time. Why this movie is different a little bit than other romantic movies? I think what's different about it is that the lead um, works through his traumata or through his shadow side and finds through that the love. And... I think the movie really points out or emphasizes that, that it's important to go through this stuff, maybe. And I think normal romantic comedies, there's just, um, it's just a classic dating thing. And this one has a very spiritual aspect on it. Hi, I'm um, Matt Taft, the uh, editor and the post producer of The Magic, along with um, additional ed editors, uh, Julio Garcia and Gregory J. Martin. And um, yeah, it was, a, it, was a real, it was a real blast putting this movie together, uh, Overseen Post. Um, um, I, I, uh, I, I think I, I just tried to edit, I, I tried to edit like, um, you know, like a, like a steady kind of snappy kind of flow and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it paid off. You know, I, think, uh, I think the comedic timing worked and, and the dramatic moments worked. And um, there's just a lot of great footage in there to, to go through. And uh, some great notes from the producers, and uh, and uh, and and we had a great post team. We we, we worked uh, long hours and such. Um, and um, but yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. At the end, it was a great product, and uh, I'm proud of everyone on th that worked on the film. It's really good. Did you work during the pandemic? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Uh, so we actually we they shot this movie back in February in February of this year. Um, was it, yeah, around February this year, and then um, we started we started the post process, and then and then we took a break, and then recently, last few months, we've really put it together. Um, so uh, yeah, kind of during the end of the pandemic, it really started. Uh, yeah. So. Is this, a, is this your first um, production with this uh, team, or you already worked them? Um, I'm actually I, I'm also editor on the on the Bay, um, Gregory Show the Bay. On uh, Amazon Prime, and um, I edited uh, season uh, some of season four, season five, season six. This is, uh, and then I edited. Uh, I was a co-editor on on a film, a place called Hollywood. Um, but I was brought into that very late. This one I was from in there from the beginning, and um, yeah, yeah, it was just a, it was a really uh, it was really my first uh, uh, film I, I edited. I edited where there's not a co-editor. Really, that that's 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 really come out like really come out in. Uh, everything like that. Yeah. So uh, it, was, it was real great to see that on, on the screen here.
So thank you so much, and sure, uh, congratulations you. for the movie. Sure, well, watch, it, watch it on Amazon or Pop Store when you can. All right, mm -hmm. bye. Hi, my name is Anne, and um, I'm originally from Germany, but uh, yeah, I live here in LA now, and I know Gregory and Christos uh, pretty well. They're good friends of mine. That's nice. What do you think about the new production? Oh, I love it. It is the perfect timing for a heartfelt Christmas movie like that. And uh, it really touched me because, you know, I know Christmas history and uh, I know there's uh, a, a lot of uh, feelings for him, of course, involved. And uh, it must have been also difficult for him, but he did an amazing job, you know, delivering it as an actor, but like making it um, feel very real, you know, very authentic. And um, I really love the story of it, yes. So you are from Germany and uh, I would like to ask that, how could you compete to the German romantic dramas and the American romantic dramas and especially this one? Well, you know, it's funny, I was actually here with my friend who's a German actress, so it was nice uh, from, to hear from her what she thinks, because I'm not in the industry. Um, but what uh, we both noticed is that it has a little bit of a touch of uh, the Spanish tele telenovelas as well. So it was a nice mix of uh, uh, the American culture, but also the Hispanic, well, the Spanish one. And I liked it, it was cute. It was a cute mix, you know? It was interesting, something new, you know? And uh, compared to Germany, I mean, the Germans are not as heartfelt. So, <laughs> so like, you know, it's, uh, they, we make good mood, movies, but uh, it's hard to feel goosebumps sometimes, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, no, we do have funny movies. I like our funny movies, but it's, uh, I'm not so into, into the German romantic movies, because it's not kind of the same, but... <laughs> Uh, romance could be a cultural thing it sounds like yes 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 I mean you know the Germans are it takes a little bit to warm up but uh, and so I guess it's, that's how it is in the movies as well but uh, I liked you know what I liked in this movie also is like I was always waiting for the moment that they finally kiss and that never really happened until the very very end you know until the movie was actually over so you know it was it was a good idea to have that moment you know uh, keep that moment until the very end because I was always like when are they gonna kiss when are they gonna kiss you know so that was very sweet uh, it was a nice, nice way of, you know, exciting, basically, the Romans. <laughs> How did it feel like, um, as a German lady, watching this movie then, because you said that you have, you're coming from a different culture, yeah. so how, how did it feel to see a more, like, maybe more emotional? Yes, for sure, definitely more emotional. Uh, like I said, I love the story of it, the storyline, and uh, the way, you know, all the actors uh, put it into the work and in the, the movies. Uh, it, did, it never felt like a movie, it felt real, you know, so very authentic, so. It was nice, and I can't wait to watch it with my son, actually, because he's also in the same age as the little boy. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice that it's a family-friendly movie, uh, and it has a little bit of everything, you know? It has, you know, the romance part, but also the magic. I totally believe in the Christmas magic, so this is, you know, the perfect movie for me and my son. You Thank know? you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kevin Underwood. Um, this movie was very different in a way where it was very uh it was really nice to watch it kind of warmed up your heart a little bit more as uh it kind of touched home based on how if you lost a loss or a loved one in your life or just someone's not there um it really kind of touches you in a in a deeper way um some of the parts were very uh comedic like the uh, homeless man <laughs> it cracked me up um but all all together was a great movie it was fun to watch definitely gonna tell more friends about it Thank you so much. That's great. Dominique Appleby. Ashley Bell. Perfect. And you just came out from the movie theater watching The Magic. What was your impression of the movie? Amazing. Perfect for the holidays and just renews hope. Beautiful. And well acted and directed. Yeah, just a great holiday movie. Feels just a really good feel good movie that just touches at your heartstrings. I think everybody can relate to the characters in the story. This is going to be just an amazing experience for everybody that watches it. We didn't see the movie, but uh, it's a spoiler alert. But please share something, your favorite episode, I mean, for your favorite uh, scene from the movie. 
Yeah, I think the favorite scene is when he realizes that there's angels. Christos is amazing. Yeah. Super powerful. Yeah, I just love the fact of having um, his best friend still with him later. I think all of us can relate to that childhood friend that you still have that's with you every day that supports you. Uh, I think everybody can just relate to that. And as we go to the holiday season, we're thankful not only for our family, but that extended family that we all love. Hello, can you hear me? Hey. No, Yo. it's working. It's kind of Hello? Working. Is it cut out? Yeah, there you go. No, it's working. Okay. Is it working? Yep. All right. So talented. Yeah, I asked who, who made that. <laughs> and Clark, yes. Uh, my favorite scene was when Alejandra and Christos, when she figured out that she had the sparks for him, she took her hair down. And then uh, it was also, um, I, I don't give two, you yeah, don't mind. Um, when Christos' character found uh, the twins' photo in the ornament. I don't know if someone said that, right? No? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my favorite part, too. I, I agree. Thank you. Here you go. Okay. Hey. Oh, shit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Although, no, although my role was extremely small, I have a lot of people to thank. I mean, gosh, like Gregory, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. Um, but initially, uh, thank you, Daniel Coven, for in introducing me to these incredible people. First of all, uh, Eric Nelson, I guess, for introducing Daniel to you as well. Um, shout gosh, out yeah, shout out Gregory. There's just so many moments. I like was able to see this for the first time tonight, which was really cool. Like super bright eyed, and there was a moment where it was a lot deeper than the rest of the film that you had with Corey. And for me, that was really cool to see. I don't know. Like, I guess I see a lot of, you know, that emotional state from you. But this one in particular hit a little bit harder, so that was really cool to see. And then there was also the moment with your coworker, which I believe is also your friend, where he mouthed, wow. And I, like, yeah. I love that. I thought that that was, like, perfect, uh, real. perfect comedic relief. It was really cool, yeah. Legit. But thank you, Gregory. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. I played the homeless guy. of dialogue. <laughs> what? Are you crazy? <laughs> I did it really well. Thank you, Terry, Terry, or... Uh, <laughs> um, and... Uh, and Paris. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Paris, baby. Love you, buddy. You did great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Paris. Good job, bro. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for picking me. And I, the best scene is when you appear, Mr. L. Yeah. 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 turning point of the film yeah. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. because Christos is introduced to the magic and you have to you know you, being like a high profile lawyer most of them are really skeptical and I'm yeah. trusting that you got Christos to believe in you and he was looking for you a second time uh, but he came across me <laughs> But it was so great. I mean, he came, as, you know, like to look for you to thank you, you know, for the two things: the, the hundred dollars that went to you, <laughs> uh, and the, the, the photo of the sisters. So, yeah. Thank you, folks. Thank uh, you. My favorite scene. It's hard to pick because I get to work with these amazing people. Um, I I actually don't. I, I can't pick a favorite scene, but I just can. Can you guys hear all me? Okay? Of all, no, all, all of them. All of them, really. Hello. There we go. Yeah. I can't really pick a favorite scene. I love. Uh, uh, if this doesn't work, I'll just scream. <laughs> but I think uh, 
you know, everything. I mean, I think I have a wonderful cast. I was really blessed with this beautiful cast who did their work and they, they delivered and, you know, they made this movie what it is. And my amazing team, my behind the scenes from, from my camera department to my AD who kept us on track to our makeup and wardrobe and yeah. my producing team and of course my post team who spent endless hours trying to put it all together. Um, so it, uh, it takes an army and uh, I'm super grateful for all of you. Gregory, does it go out around Woo! the world on DVD tomorrow? Yeah, so tomorrow it's on VOD. It is all over the world. Um, so you uh, spread the word, guys. Yes. Yes. Make sure you spread the word. Tell everyone. Uh, it's going to be, be on Popstar tomorrow, starting tomorrow on VOD, where you can rent it on Popstar. You can also buy the, the, the DVD or the Blu-ray disc if you want to have your own copy. Um, and um, and then it'll be on Amazon. And then oh, on okay. All right. So uh, you can find it. Yeah. And then it'll go away for a little while. Yeah. And we can heal. Sell it again next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, and Danielle, Danielle, who had that beautiful ending song, she was also the song in here. Oh, I love that. <laughs> song that was playing in the car scene when the girls had the accident. I love that. Um, oh. Yeah, sweet. So, yeah. Yeah, that scene. Yeah, girl. That was the scene. That was Danielle, you want to stand up? And then we also have Fresh. He had that, the, is Fresh still here? I think Fresh might have left, but he had a song in the too. Oh. Um, oh, Fresh, stand up, Fresh. Fresh had a song too. Yeah.